Good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you may be in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we are looking at Havoc uh, by Sample Logic. And this is a cinematic percussive library with uh, over 850 instrument and multis. And the best part about it is it's for contact player, so you don't need to have the full version of contact if you want to use it, which is fantastic. <laughs> and also, um, at the moment, the deal we have for you today is it's down to $44.99 um, from $299.99, so it's quite a drop. And yeah, so all these samples have been recorded in like a multi-car garage, so we're talking lots of different types of kind of materials and equipment that's been sampled and processed and made into these awesome things that we're going to have a look at in a second. So if you're interested in finding out more, you like the videos, you want to see more videos, then if you just hit the little notification bell, um, subscribe and you'll be able to see deals just like this. So this is Havoc, um, and I can already see that Sample Logic have put in a lot of time and effort into making these uh, samples further customizable. Um, not only from obviously them taking all the sort of mad tools they have in their garage from glass, plastic, drills, you know, all sorts of sort of metallic items, things, and they've all been heavily processed and then made into these fantastic sound examples. Now, side note, throughout this I'm probably going to be like, this is my favourite, I love this, I love all of this, because I do. <laughs> it's definitely a, a really well put together sample library and I'm a big fan of it already and I've only played with it for a few days. <laughs> and I love it. Um, so yeah, so it's very customisable, um, again from like filter, delay, verb, reverb, reverb. <laughs> Um, you can arpeggiate things. Um, one of my favourite things to do is to actually stack them because they stack very well, um, which is also the case where you have actual multi set up that Sample Logic have done to sort of create some sort of stacks for you. Um, so I've made my own one here um, with three separate uh, samples. Um, so individually, I mean, this is the first one. So you can imagine that in a chase scene, it's very driving. And then if you go ahead and add in the rest of them, so the Mayan Temple 3, Chess in the Park, there's some really, really awesome names like for these. I really wish I was able to sit and name them because that would be a fantastic job too. Um, so if we put all three of them together, they sound a little bit like... Obviously you can put them in whatever key you want. I have noticed they all sound the best on the C note. But again, entirely your preference. Um, but as well as stacking them like a multi, obviously with the customizable it's very easily to make them it's very easy to make them sound um, like your own. Um, and obviously there's there's over 850 of them, there's a lot of different styles and things you can do. So we're going to have a look at the sort of folders we have here. So we've got the arpeggiated uh, folders which have about 50, 50 different arpeggiations. Um, again you can make anything on this lamp in this library um, arpeggiated um, but these are sort of pre-made ones for you um, which we'll have a quick listen to. Um, we'll pick one just now. So let's pick Distant Magic. So there we go. Let's have a listen to this. So you can hear that little tail at the end as well. It's pretty nice. Um, so that's Distant Magic. So let's move on to the bonus ones now, um, which are split into Atmospheres and Melodics. So we'll have a look at Melodics. Um, let's look at Stimuli 1. So that's already set up with an arpeggiator, so we can turn that off. I 
and again quite melodic unlike the rest of them which are very <laughs> very heavy <laughs> very rhythmic quite like that one um like what? Synth scissors. I can't even pronounce that. Synth scissors. <laughs> another arpeggiated one there. Okay, we're gonna turn the delay off if you wanted to. Turn off the reverb. Turn off the pitch. So already it sounds completely different to what it originally was. <laughs> Maybe not the lo-fi. <laughs> But yeah, you can turn off quite a lot of things. So yeah, quite a lot of pretty awesome kind of customizations you can make with that. Um, atmospheres, we can put on Hidden Sea Fortress. Another fantastic name. Again, with the very cute graphic there coming in. Love that. Um, <laughs> Liking that again with customizations. Um, so let's have a quick look at some of the hit ensembles. Hungry Hungry Hippo sounds like a good choice. Shall we go with it? <laughs> So these are kind of, so you can build them up and make your own kind of uh, rhythms with them, which I think is great as well. Because not only have you got some rhythms, you can again create more customizable things that you'd like. Um, so that's what the hit ensembles are for. Uh, moving on to the impacts. So again, split into four different folders, electronic, glow and deep, metallic, distorted. Um, so yeah, quick listen to that. I do like that one. So gritty. It really does suit the name Big Grumble too, I think. Gotta love that. Right, okay. So going back out of that one, uh, have a little listen to maybe one of the electronic ones. Impacts. There's about 200 of these, 200 impacts to play with. Customize, make your own, whatever you fancy. Moving on. Uh, loops are probably my favorite and I've used them in this track that I'm about to show you and I'll show you kind of like what I've done. Um, and these again are split into quite a lot of different ones and the loops are about the bulk of what this is. So there's about 325 to play with in here. And honestly, I think they're just so well done. They're fantastic. Um, so they're sort of split into kind of like, well, styles like action packed. So if I go for Card Shark. <laughs> and do you know what else I could do? I could put on another one on top of that. really exciting and even adding a third one very quickly so individually together I just love that I love the ability to just stack things and make new sounds it's really good and transitions are another one, which is right here. So we've got reversed scrapes and swipes. Just to get an idea of what kind of stuff is in that folder. Um, there's about 110 of these, roughly. 
Um, so again, quite a lot to sort of, even for like textures in other pieces of music, uh, cinematic style, whatever you need to use it for. Um, so if I see if I can layer a few of these together. So I do, I'm enjoying that one. A couple more Maybe from the scrape section, so we could put Rage Force and uh, Turn Back Now. Again, awesome, awesome names. Individually. So I think these would be really amazing for like horror. Um, like more just kind of like industrial kind of sounds. I just I, I love that. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's have a quick look at the multis very quickly. Um, so you can see here. Um, I found a recently how to kind of clear these as well because <laughs> for a little while I was like hmm, I'm not sure how to get rid of this. I usually have the little X thing at the top, but I go up to the save icon and go to reset multi. And then it just gets rid of it. Um, I'm sure you probably all know that, but I didn't know that. And I learned something new today. <laughs> so if you're ever struggling how to get rid of a multi fast, that's how you do it. Just in case you missed it, you just go to reset multi. That simple. <laughs> Years <laughs> I've not known that. Oh, but I'm glad we do now. So yeah, press yes. Um, would you believe you could stack multis as well? So listen to this one first. Pretty good. Um, let's see if we can stack these multis now. This might tank my CPU, but we're going to try it. We're experimenting. This is the whole point. Um, so I think no will merge in the new instruments. So now we will have even more. So let's see what this sounds like. The, the opportunities are endless really for this library. There's just loads and loads and loads of stuff. Loads of things. Um, so now I will just go on and quickly show you what I made. Um, and I've used quite an array of different sort of elements to try and kind of give you an idea of what they would sound like all together. So we'll have a very quick listen to that now. Play around with some of the loops, some of the some of the stacks, some of the sort of stabs, and just made a little little thing there. Um, so to dissect some of it, um, I sort of tried to section them out. Um, this first one is a couple of samples layered together. Um, so we've got that one, and we also have this one. Both really cool sounding. Um, and I believe I started out with one of the reverse samples as well. I haven't 
done an awful lot to these because they just sound so great already. A couple of them I did layer together like that one. Um, so you kind of see how they all come in. That was the kind of more percussive side. Um, the riff side, I'd say, would sound a bit more. So I used Save the Toys. So this one in particular, I really did quite like Cocaine and Curry. <laughs> It's got a, a really great sound to it, um, so I used that one. Um, a couple other ones I used in this, which one was this? Because I put a few bends in this one, um, which is Grind Waves, so that was towards the end. <laughs> Yes, that's ultimately what I did with Havoc. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys learned something and perhaps are more persuaded to want to use it because I'm having a great time with it and I really hope that you guys get to too. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, have a great rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever time zone you were in. And I'll see you next time. Bye.